guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP Part 43. In this part, hopefully, Jay can go get a little snazzy with Miss um, Tori over here. Let's go make out with her. She's in her underwear right now. <laughs> We're going to make out with her and embrace her. And let's uh, go ahead and woohoo with her again. Actually, we'll, we'll wait with that. It's graduation day. Head down to City Hall to collect your diploma at the graduation ceremony. So today, um, I guess Snuggles is graduating. Um, I don't know, but Snuggles actually has this really, really cute moodlet uh, right here. Unimaginable comfort. Let's read that. Snuggles never thought sleeping in a real bed for the first time could feel so amazing. This definitely beats sleeping on the floor. I would imagine. Go do that and clean a little bit. Make a bed. Make all the beds. Um, Snuggles is really into like cleaning, which I think is awesome. Um, so Snuggles wants to clean and repair the toilet. Uh, so you can do that. Justine is going to go do some laundry. Oh, somebody pulled a prank on her. <laughs> We're going to do some more laundry. And Luna is still going to continue making some potions. What are you doing? Justine. Justine. Move those clothes to the dryer. Making a mess. Alrighty. Snuggles is going to go clean up a little bit. Uh, we definitely have to keep a nice clean house. Um, I think we're going to ask Tori out on a date and go get her a makeover. She definitely needs one. And um, maybe propose to her today. Kind of looks like she's wearing some form of lingerie. Like a, like a little schoolgirl or something. <laughs> Alrighty. So now they're officially on a date. So now we're going to go get her a little makeover because she needs it. Um, so we're going to visit this lot with our date. All right. It is time for Tori to get a little makeover. She was so beautiful when she was younger and then she got really ratchet. All right. There seems like a lot of people decided to come get makeovers today. Actually seems like... Um, some of the kids uh, that we used to hang out with actually are here, like Janice um, and their guardian, Eva, who's crazy. Um, Duncan's here. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So we're going to come here and uh, give Tori a makeover. Oh, even Brayden's here. That's crazy. Okay, so I guess we have to wait for them to move because they decided now's the perfect time to go get makeovers. Can I offer a makeover? I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't done this in so long. Um, I don't remember. I don't think we can. Which is actually really disappointing because I really want to give her a makeover. We'll go get some food together. I think that would be fun. Uh, let's, uh... Let's go to the diner right here and eat here with our date. Um, why aren't you at school? Oh, she starts in one day. I was going to be like, you need to be at school right this instant. Um, <laughs> who's out here doing this? Oh, Luna. Luna, did you, did you not go to work today? Oh, she has the day off as well. Awesome. Everybody has like the day off for no reason. That's great. Everybody's out just having some fun by the pool. Why don't you go slide down the slide? Joseph, with your little cane. How old is he? He's, um, once he gets to, like, the midway mark, we'll start having him walk a little bit differently with his cane. He'll look a little bit older, so. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and have him go grill up some hamburgers in maybe an hour or so. Um... I think that'd be fun. Even Ava's coming out here to have some fun with everybody in her, like, little black bikini. She's going to come talk to Buster, who is seriously about to drop dead. <laughs> He's actually about to, like, just drop dead. It's so bad, Buster. You've been around for too long. Snuggles. Snuggles. Go 
Go straight your... No, don't no, relax. Oh, she's going to graduate. Um, Jay Fenderson is going somewhere with... No, Jay didn't grow up with Snuggles. Like, the only one who should be attending is Luna, but we won't go there. Um, Snuggles is gonna go graduate. Snuggles looks terrified. She's like, where am I going? Oh, poor Snuggles. Snuggles is like, what is life? No, where am I going? Oh, oh, poor Snuggles. Oops, oh well, you need to go. Okay. And I think Jay... Jay is, um, yeah. He's still on his date. He's, um, oh, he was, <gasps> this is his graduation ceremony. You need to go. Never mind. You do need to go. <laughs> I was like, no, you don't have to go. You can take your time. <laughs> Whatever. And I think I just missed his graduation ceremony. Oh my gosh. No. Jay, you need to graduate. I'm pretty sure this is like, oh. It says, I graduated. Did we go to his graduation ceremony? I don't think we did. Pretty sure we didn't. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to go get his diploma, like, right now. I guess, I guess not. I don't even remember. Is that bad? He got most likely to become a sports star. Oh, He got a shop club uh, trophy and his high school diploma. And we have his little toy right here. And he has a Toyota Prius in his, like, inventory, his backpack, his fanny pack, his pocket. I don't know. Um, we're gonna go take a romantic photo with Tori. And, uh, maybe propose to her today. I told you, their life has to move kind of fast, because she is older than him, so. They need to move pretty fast. The snowman's watching them, like, you don't goof. Um, let's go ahead and give her, uh, another kiss, hold her hands, and give her a nice little dick kiss, and this right here, Abriana King, okay. We're gonna go ahead and change into our everyday outfit, and go ahead and take her to somewhere nice. What do we have over here? Um, that's nice, but not nice enough. Um, no... I want to take her somewhere really, really pretty, or maybe even somewhere secluded, like the cemetery. Um, no, but we will take her. Is there, like, some, like, little private, beautiful park over here? Probably not. Um, most likely not. Um, they can... That's not really romantic with all the streets around them. Um, oh, this is difficult. I guess he will just take her somewhere, I guess, kind of nice, but not really. Not too nice. Um, the summer festival, maybe? No, no. Oh, this is hard. Where do I want to take her to propose? I think we'll take her maybe right here. I think this is kind of pretty. It's right by his dream. His dream job, which he can also get right after he proposes. So, he will come here with her and propose to her right in front of this fountain. And there's palm trees and everything. It's a nice summer day. And I feel like that would be a cute way to, you know, do it all. So. Samadu. <gasps> Oh, oh And currently Luna is rolling in her sleep. Oh, oh. oh. he's his dream has finally come true. Snuggles just graduated. Cool. Uh, congratulations, Jay and Tori are now engaged. They can get married at the wedding party. They can get married at a wedding party, or if they prefer something a little bit more intimate, a private wedding. We're going to do a wedding party just so uh, Luna rolls in her sleep. Um, congratulations, Snuggle. Snuggles has graduated from community high school with a merit. She didn't even go to high school, but okay. Um, <laughs> the future is bright for this one. Cool. Cool. He wants to have a party, a bachelor party. I think that'd be like a lot of fun. So, are you? Oh, he's talking to himself. I thought she was, he was arguing with her. I was going to be like, are you kidding me? Uh, we're going to go ahead and hug her. 
Looks like they're arguing, but they're not. We're gonna get to know her. <gasps> he can confess to cheating. No way. Ask to be roommates. Chief Johnny Sasasi. Narbo possessed. I kind of just want to ask her to move in, not to be roommates. Like, just move in. Please. Ask her about her day, and then we'll probably get the option. You have to have the friendly option, I'm pretty sure. Or sociable, or something like that. Yeah, we have to ask her to move in now. Come on in, Tori. We can make you a little bit less ugly if you want. She's like, totally, you're my man. We have to get together. Totally. Uh, Lilith Pleasant wants to know if Joseph Fenderson would like to go on a date. Lilith, you are literally about to drop dead. Literally. So isn't Joseph, but he still has a little bit of time. Lilith, go away. Alrighty. So, yeah. There we go. She's moving on in, and then they're going to get married, kind of like what we did with Penelope. And they're going to move out, and yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's going to go ahead and move in. Our household is, once again, pretty full, but then again, in a matter of a couple of parts, it'll be much smaller and very sad, but it's going to happen. <laughs> no, but what I'm going to try to do is to get Luna and Snuggles to move out, and then um, Jay and Tori to move out, and yeah. Hopefully, one of them, you know, don't die right away. <laughs> That'd be really sad. Jay is going to go get his job, and now Tori's gonna go home, and, um, and hopefully, Um, what am I saying? Hopefully, well, well, we're gonna give her that makeover, because she needs it. Um, Tori was so beautiful when she was younger, so she definitely needs a little something. Um, cool, Jay, cool, Jay. Why don't you go get a drink? You know, you just got engaged. Go get yourself a drink. You just grew some balls, you know? Asked a girl on a date. Well, not even a date. You asked a girl to marry you. I think you have, um... You deserve a drink already. Luna's probably crying right now, by the way. So, let's go change her appearance. Give her some new hair and everything. I don't know what I want to give her, to be honest. I kind of want to give her store content because I never use my store content. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I own a ton of store content. Probably, I would say... Oh, I can't do the... Uh, I don't know, probably about... 80% of it. I own maybe even more than that. I own a lot of it and a lot of you guys have gifted it to me. So if you have, like, I love you so much. Thank you. Um, but, um, I did buy quite a bit of it, but a lot of it was gifted and I don't know. I just, I want to use it, but at the same time, I never find like a hair that I absolutely think matches my, my sim perfectly. And it's usually the issue. Um, I usually, I don't know, there's like some hairs that I am head over heels for, like you could not, like when I got this hair right here, oh my gosh, I used this so often, it was crazy, I, ooh, this one too, this one right here with the curls, oh, I loved this hair, this one, I, this ponytail, I really like this, um, I think it's so casual and I really, really like this hair, um, I mean, all the ones that are like this with the curls, I've used a lot. This one too. I don't know. I've used, I have used them quite a bit. I just wish I used them more often, I guess. I wish I used them like every gameplay because these are money right here. All of these have cost me or somebody else money. So that's why I really want to use it. You know what I mean? I use the outfits all the time. All the time all the freaking time. I don't know if I want to give her her um, old hair because I could do that. I could plop it on her. But I kind of feel like I don't know if I really want to do that. I feel like she's too old for that now. Um, Let's see. I feel like she is too old for that hair. She looks kind of good with this hair. I feel like that fits her. But once again, the whole custom content thing, trying to stick with some store content. Uh, so, you know what? I'm forcing myself to use store content. I'm not, nope, using it, using it. 
<laughs> we're gonna use it for once. Um, Tori is older now, so she can pull off some of these hair if you ask me, because she is older, like I said. Um, so, I think I like this one on her. I love that hair. I know a lot of people don't, but I love that hair. Um, let's see. I also really like this one. It's very, very pin up, and I like that. Mm. I think I'm going to go with, um, oh, this is one of my all-time favorites right here. So beautiful. So beautiful. Um, I think I'm going to go with, where is it? Um, this one right here for now, um, for now and in the future, obviously, you know, when she gets married, she needs a different hair because getting married in that probably wouldn't be the cutest thing ever. Um, I also think I want to dye her hair, maybe lighten it up a little bit, give Tori more of that blonde hair. Um, let's see, like a little red tint to it as well though. See. Oh, that's like yellow. Ew, ratchet. Kind of, that looks pretty. It's kind of like yellowish, but it really, I like it. <laughs> I like it. Um, I feel like it has a nice touch to it. I could give her some crazy highlights, like white. Um, we'll give her some highlights like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and give her some new makeup. She's been wearing that since she was um, a fetus, pretty much in high school. So I'm sure she, ooh, I just hit my leg. I'm sure she wants a change. Let's give her some green, dark green, charcoal almost, um, eyeshadow. And let's darken that up a little bit. Uh, actually, I kind of liked how the charcoal looked on her down here. Fits her well. I think this smoldery look is what fits her really well. And let's give her some new foundation. Um, that and a new lipstick as well. Let's give her a matte lipstick. Let's give her this one. And make this I've been tending to give my Sims very nude lipsticks lately. I don't know why. I just have been. It's not on purpose. I, I just have been loving them. <laughs> um, so a lot of my Sims have been having that lately. And yeah. Alright. She kind of looks like how my mom does her makeup. My mom literally throws her makeup on. And I'm the type of person that I have to take my time on my makeup or else I feel like it looks terrible. So I, it takes me forever to get ready just because I'm a perfectionist when it comes to like my makeup and stuff like that. All right, we're gonna actually give her this like winged eyeliner for now. I think it looks kind of neat on her. Um, so let's just change this one up here to maybe a green. Her eyeshadow is green. Sorry that this is taking me forever. You guys just know how I am. We're gonna make it green. That's a little crazy, but we'll make it really dark green. Okay. Okay. We're done. We're done. We're out of here. Um, so yeah, she has like a really casual look right now. Kind of like she doesn't care. And that's what, if I was a man, okay, this is my thing. If I was ever lesbian or a man or something and I wanted to date a female, I, I tell people this all the time. My girl would not be a basic arse bitch she would be ex an exotic beauty and that's exactly what I would want I would want somebody who's different you know very ethnic and that's what I would personally want um just somebody who doesn't look like everybody else somebody who is completely unique in their own person and I, I don't know somebody who who's just ca very they know who they are that's who I would want just an ethnic beautiful woman Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do her outfit. This can take me a while. So I will skip and I will come back to you guys. Okay, so I gave her a very summery look. And because, well, 
it's summertime. <laughs> so I was like, obviously, I don't want to put her in a sweater. So I gave her a romper. And personally, I know I wear rompers like all summer long. And they're kind of something you just slip on and you go and it's perfect. And hers is like a longer romper. It's from the store. Um, I'm pretty sure this came with, oh, what set is it? It's resort luxury, something like that. Um, the shoes are from Late Night, and yeah, it's really cute. I like the ombre, and very casual. And the rest of her outfits, you guys already know, the schmeel, 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 the deal. Um, it's, you know, whatever, stuff that you guys will see around the house. Um, her formal wear is her wedding dress. It's very casual, so you guys will just have to wait and see that, unless she changes into it, which I don't think she will. Um, but I like her dress. It's very summery, and I've had my eye on it for a while. So, yes. I'm going to have her go use the toilet, shower up, clean the toilet, actually, before she showers. Jay just got his job that he's, he's wanted. He's going to come home, actually, and uh, go work out for a bit. Might as well, right? Uh, Ava, what are you doing? Where were you, Ava? Is my question. Where the hell did Ava go? Actually, she wanted to go get a part-time job, which I think is awesome. Um, so she is going to go get a part-time job at the grocery store. Um, imagine, like, little Ava checking your, your stuff out. <laughs> this little rocker chick saying, paper or bag <laughs> no what is it no paper or bag that paper or bag that makes okay plastic or paper I really like paper bags because you get so much out of them you know um you get so much more groceries in paper but I usually I just get plastic because they don't even bother to ask me anymore but if I had to choose one I would say paper unless I was buying electronics and then I would want plastic but food and stuff definitely paper um, and, like, paper, I don't know, just something about paper really makes me happy. So, paper all the way. <laughs> okay, hashtag team paper. Um, alrighty, Jay, why don't you go at a good pace? And, Justine, I think it's time for dinner, so why don't you go ahead and serve some, um, let's make some stew surprise tonight some nuggles why don't you go ahead and clean up do us all a favor clean up and put those away as leftovers feed albert ava has her job awesome ava why don't you go clean up a little bit help your mom out even though i'm sure you don't want to ava i think ava might go ding dong ditch or something after she's done helping her mom out around the house oh joseph never cooked up some hamburgers oh well he can do that um on um on leisure day he'll make some uh, they'll have like a little barbecue or something and invite um penelope and everything over i think that'd be really cute um actually that's what joseph can go do right now why don't we go visit penelope right she is our daughter oh they're not home zane is at the park zane get home uh-oh oh no Buster has fleas again. I swear he has them every damn day. So we're going to go ahead and give him um, a flea bath real quick. So let's give Buster a flea bath. And then we're going to take a bath ourselves. Tori from Enemy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me so happy. Confess attraction for Jay. <laughs> yes. You guys don't even know how happy I am. She's like, oh, this is perfect. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this makes me so happy. You guys have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty, so the story behind Little Miss Ava's room is Justine is not ready to let go of precious little Ava's childhood. So Ava is totally like, Mom, I am old now. I should be able to have what I want. She's older. I want this bed. I don't want all this kid furniture in my room anymore. I went through that phase. I remember, um, now that I think about it, I feel really bad because <laughs> when I went through the phase, I literally, my mom just came home and had trash bags of like, you know, stuff from when I was like a, a baby and 
like my childhood, all my dolls and stuff. I, I literally have them in trash bags. And if I could all take that back, I would. I'm sorry, Mom, if you're watching this. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you upset. It was so sad. Don't do that to your parents or your guardians. Please don't do it to them. Let them down slowly. Don't just have them come home one day and you totally, you know, like destroy your childhood. It, it was so sad. I'm so sorry, Mom. Um, but we're going to give her this bed. Uh, this is from the store really pretty if you ask me it's like a whole set and I really like it. it's very rockerish and I, I like that um we're gonna make her bed let's make it teal um okay let's make it teal actually now we're gonna give her um, like a burgundy kind of I guess I don't even know what color that would be actually let's put those stripes back Actually, it doesn't match any of those up there, and that would really bother me. So, we'll make it, like, red. Um, there, that will work. Um, that's that for now. We'll switch it up even more. But as of right now, she's like, Mom, I, I really don't want all this, like, yellow and pink furniture. I want my red furniture. But that's not happening because Justine's old and brittle. And she's like, no, you got to be a baby forever. So we're going to call the household to this meal. Everybody's going to grab a plate. And we're all hopefully going to have dinner together. Aww. Including Luna and Tori, even though they just ate. They can hopefully come eat with us as well. I don't think everybody will fit up the table. I I don't know. Maybe we will. I think we will. Yeah, we will. Look at everybody sitting here together. Joseph is upstairs. Oh. Damn, some of you finished that real fast. Who's doing the dishes is the real question. I personally say... Hmm... It looks like Luna's gonna do them. Uh, Luna, just finish them all. Ava, uh, uh, why don't you go? She's feeling a little, a little evil. So let's uh let's head to somebody's house and do a little prank or two or three. I don't know. Uh, they're still not home. Um, we will go throw some eggs or something. Uh, it seems like everybody's not home right now. What the hell? <laughs> Why isn't anybody home? Nobody's home. I guess we can't. Nobody that we know anyways. What the hell? Why is everybody out? <laughs> I don't approve. You all need to be antisocial and go home. Um, whatever. We'll do it another time. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. Whatever. Alrighty. Ava, do you have homework? No, she doesn't. I was going to be like, do your homework. Even though you're supposed to be this bad girl, go do your homework. Uh, go take an evil shower because you're so evil. After your dad uses the bathroom. He's an old man. You have to let him go to the bathroom. Luna is washing dishes. Um, Justine is such a mom. Look at her going to get the clean laundry. Oh, She's going to do that. Oh, Move those to the dryer. So much laundry. All right, and we're going to do some laundry. I think she's going to go head to bed. Joseph is going to head to bed. He's a little old man. He needs his sleep. Uh, Snuggles is going to go do ballet. Okay, Luna is... Let me make sure that Tori and Jay sleep in the right bed. This is not Snuggles' bed. Here, sleep in there. Snuggles, go take a little... Nappy poo to Luna's bed. Luna will slip on the other side. Um, Eva, go to sleep as well. And um, Luna will go to bed in a little bit. She's going to go um, discover a potion. Just continue working on that. Um, alrighty, I will get back to you guys in the next part, actually. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I think in the next part, um, we're going to have a little bachelor party for Jay. And I think Luna's get, going to get into a bar brawl. Um, I think Tori's going to show up and like Luna's going to be like, you can't be here, biatch. And then they're going to get into like a fight. And then I think like, you know, Snuggles is going to jump in and be like, no, that's my best friend. You can't do that. 
And then maybe Jay will jump in. He'll be like, that's my girl, but you're my sister. Drama, soap opera, hashtag generations, hashtag soap opera, hashtag, hashtag, hashtag paper bags, hashtag team paper. Okay, hashtag, I love you guys. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Don't forget to, to give this part a big fat thumbs up. You already know. Love them. Thumbs up. Love them. Big fat thumbs. Hashtag big thumbs. No, okay. Enough with the hashtags. Um, I love you guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And another part is coming tomorrow. And, yeah. I love you guys. And that's all I have to say. I love you guys. Okay. I'm on this part here now. Bye, guys.